Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. Here's a really depressing statistic for you. About 99.9% .9 of screenplays get rejected. That's about one in a thousand good screenplays that actually get taken forward. This is taken from a very, very comprehensive article I read over undergrad, which I'll link in the description. But it begs the question, how do we avoid all of these pitfalls? So in this video, we're gonna try and find out what we can do to make sure that we're part of the 0.01%. Okay, so the first reason screenplays might fail actually happens before a single word is written. They just don't have a strong enough concept. Now, it may be that your concept has just been tried and tested one too many times, such as globe-trotting spy up against evil nasty man, or a natural disaster looks like it's going to wipe out all of humanity, but oh, don't worry, everything's okay in the end. Welcome back, cowboy. We've seen it a thousand times before. The problem with these concepts is they're too reliant on genre conventions. But herein lies the answer to our problem. Your concept needs to play with conventions. It needs to do something that the audience isn't expecting. So let's take a look at how we can make a very, very simple boy meets girl romance into a far more interesting concept. Firstly, we could mess with the conventional characters of the genre and make the girl, I don't know, a computer? Hello, I'm here. Oh. Hi. Hi. Or perhaps the guy could be a vampire. I know what you are. See it. Or how about if the girl pretends to be a guy so she can play on the same team as the guy she likes in the hopes that he notices her. Another convention we could play with is the narrative. So maybe at the end, boy doesn't get girl. Thomas. Or maybe boy and girl absolutely hate each other. I felt repulsed when you touched You're me. You're a slob. I made all the beds, closed I mean, all the cabinets, picked out of you like Makes an me infant. Want to heal my Here's another idea. Why not take everything we know and expect about romances and mash it up with a different genre, such as zombie films. I don't understand, but he's changing. Sci-fi. Took you long enough to ask. Or Western. I really can't dance. <laughs> You're dancing. Either way, before you start writing, it's really important that you have a clear, unique, engaging, creative concept. Okay, so the next reason so many screenplays actually fail is they've all become so reliant on that magic bullet or that game-changing formula, which we just see too often. So you've probably heard of Save the Cat or Dan Harmon's Story Circle or Todorov's Narratology. These are a great way to learn the craft of screenwriting or to just churn out material because you basically just need to like put a piece of plot into each of the different stages. But today's audiences are sophisticated and they get used to it and they can see through it. On the other hand, we need structure. So what I would say is stick to the good old three act structure, beginning, middle and end. That way you've got far more flexibility as to where your disruption happens or when we introduce our protagonists or what happens in the final act. Now I want to demonstrate this using Arc Studio, who are sponsoring today's video. Arc Studio is an online and offline screenwriting solution that allows for collaborative writing at a professional level. But it's so easy to use, it's absolutely accessible for new writers. Now, if you're writing a screenplay and you want to stick to the three act structure like I've suggested, you can actually do this right within Arc Studio. So before we start writing, we can actually select from a number of different narrative structures. Here we're going to have the three-act structure and we can break down our story into beats before we even start writing a single word. This gives us a really clear overview of the pace and the key plot points of our story. This is actually a really great way to practice writing films rather than spending days and days writing an entire screenplay. Try writing a three-act structure just in beats. Once that's done, these are plain to see on the screenplay and ready for you to start writing. And it's ridiculously easy to format a screenplay with Arc Studio. It's got a distraction-free design, which means you can focus entirely on your writing. Watch this. See how easy it is for me to quickly go between action, down to character, and add some dialogue all professionally formatted so that you can focus purely on the story. You can sign up for a free trial of Arc Studio by following the link down in the description and it's very quickly become my go-to service for writing any kind of screenplay. 
So the next reason your script might be failing is because you're presenting situations rather than story. Script consultant Jill Chamberlain outlines this brilliantly in a video which I'll link below. But essentially, too many screenplays just present situations that happen in a logical order. Now these situations might be great in their own right and even very well written, but they aren't necessarily linking to tell a greater whole. What I'm getting at here is the idea of cause and effect. Every single scene in your screenplay should be the result of something that happened earlier or setting up something which is going to happen later. Let's take an example by looking at Gladiator and looking at how the early section of the film is made up of scenes which are all connected. In scene three, we learn that Commodus has big ambitions to become emperor. He's made his decision. He's going to announce it. Therefore, in scene four, when the emperor congratulates Maximus, we understand that there's a little bit of conflict between the two. I shall sacrifice a hundred bulls to honor your triumph. Save the bulls. Honor Maximus. He won the battle. Therefore, in scene five, we see Commodus trying to intimidate Maximus in a private setting. Don't get too comfortable. I may call him before long. Therefore, in scene six, when the emperor tells Maximus he wants him to become emperor, we understand why Commodus will be upset. What would you have me do, Caesar? I want you to become the protector of Rome after I die. Therefore, in scene eight, we understand why Commodus might want to do this to the emperor. Do you see what's happening here? Every scene is the result of something that happened before. And without this link, you aren't telling a story, you're just presenting situations. Again, I think the absolute best way of practicing this is to just have a go at writing entire stories as beats split into three acts. Don't even worry about the writing the whole screenplay, just have a go at telling a comprehensive story in nutshell form. Now the final failing of screenplays that I want to talk about is when they just aren't personal enough. And I think this is true of an awful lot of art forms, from poetry to uh, writing songs. If it doesn't have that sense of self, that voice, it's just not going to be very engaging. Now for me, there's no better example of this than one of my favorite writers, I actually prefer their writing to directing, Quentin Tarantino. His dialogue scenes are infamous, and I think it's very easy to get a sense of his personality and his voice through any of his films. You're a little man with a big mouth and a big chip, and I think you should be embarrassed to suggest you be anything more than a stain on the seat of Cassius Clay's trunks. This really struck me when I watched True Romance, which was written by Quentin Tarantino, but directed by Tony Scott. And what I found really interesting was I felt more of Tarantino's voice in the film, even though it was directed by Scott. And I feel really goofy saying this after only knowing you one night. <laughs> me being a call going on. But I think I love you. I think this is evidence of a writer who puts all of their personality, their fears, their ideas, their thoughts, their humanity into the script and makes it really, really relatable. You like Elvis, you like, you like Janice, you like uh, Kung Fu movies, you like the Partridge family. <laughs> so the tip here is don't be afraid of your ego getting damaged or being embarrassed. You've got to put your feelings onto the page. So guys, those are some of the big pitfalls why a lot of screenplays fail. And the best thing to do, I would say, is to just start practice. Write and write and write and write until you really get a sense of yourself on the page. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you're looking for where to go next, you might want to look at my video on how to format a screenplay, which you can watch here. Or you might be at a later stage in pre-production and you're storyboarding, in which case you can watch my tutorial on storyboarding right here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.